Diagnostic samples to be submitted for RNA extraction need to be properly prepared. The necessary equipment for sample preparation consists of a Class II biological safety hood exclusively used for nucleic acid extraction, dedicated pipettes, a container with a disinfectant solution for material disposal, diagnostic samples, sterile mortar and pestle, scissors and forceps, tubes for sample storage, a second container to collect chemical waste, phosphate buffered solution with antibiotics and Eppendorf tubes with lysis buffer for RNA extraction are also needed. In order to avoid environmental and sample contamination, the operator should wear a proper lab coat, disposable gloves and disposable sleeves. A filter face mask can also be worn to increase operator protection. Extra care should be taken when working with suspected zoonotic pathogens. To extract RNA from organs such as brain, trachea, lungs, intestine, homogenize the tissues in a sterile mortar with a pestle. Write the identification number of the related sample on each tube with a permanent marker. Using sterile scissors or surgical blades, cut small blocks of tissues from the organ under examination. and mince it with the help of sterile quartz powder or sand. Organs can be pooled according to the apparatus they belong to. Note that organs such as the pancreas or liver may interfere with PCR efficiency and should be analyzed separately. To facilitate the homogenization process and avoid bacterial contamination, Add sterile buffer medium such as phosphate buffered solution with the addition of antibiotics in a one to one proportion. Finally collect the homogenate in a tube. Centrifuge the tube at low speed for a few minutes to clarify the sample and use the supernatant for the RNA extraction. To repair cloacal and tracheal or oropharyngeal swabs for RNA extraction, dispense phosphate buffered solution with antibiotics in as many tubes as the swabs under examination. In order to avoid over dilution of the sample, a maximum of 1 ml of medium is recommended. Soak the swab in the medium and squeeze it on the wall of the tube. Extract the RNA from this suspension. It is possible to pool the samples coming from the same group of birds, up to 5 tracheal and cloacal swabs per pool. If cloacal swabs are not available, faeces may be used instead. By preparing a suspension adding one volume of faeces to four volume of phosphate buffered solution with antibiotics. 